What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. In today's video, I will be giving you my top 15 favorite combo moves. And before we continue with this video, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, which is crazy because I have a lot of watch hours. A lot of people watch my videos, but are not subscribed. So it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. Either way, thank you for the support, thank you for the love, and I will continue to give you guys these types of videos. And this summer is about to be crazy. I don't wanna to share too much because I want this to be a surprise. I know for a fact that this will be big. In the meantime, I'll continue to give workout videos and vlogs of my travels. These moves that I'm about to show you are moves that I've done myself, that I've seen players do, and that I've seen on social media. These moves will definitely help you into becoming unguardable and being able to break your defender down. I study the game a lot, so I'm constantly taking notes. I'm constantly adding new things to my bag. So by playing myself and studying other players and trainers, I basically wrote down a list of my top 15 favorite combo moves so far. So we'll start with the Allen Iverson crossover. So I like this as my setup move. I like between, behind. A lot of people go between, 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 cross as their setup move. Me personally, my favorite setup move is between, behind, and then hit him with the Iverson crossover. And then with the crossover, it's not a regular crossover. There's a shift to it. So between, behind, you step, but this for first step, step, lean, cross. And like I said, that setup move could be totally different. It could be between, between, cross. Could be between, cross, cross. That's up to you. You're coming down the court, between, behind, cross. Between, behind, cross. Between, behind, cross. This next one, I like to do it on a fast break against a defender that's backpedaling. So you're gonna go full speed, you're gonna cross, jab, cross again. Doing all this against a defender who's backpedaling can be intimidating because you don't really know what's going on as a defender. You're crossing, you're jabbing, you're crossing again. It's just a lot going on. And so the defender can get confused, can trip. So again, you're going cross, jab with your opposite foot. So you're crossing first. So cross, jab, crossover. It's really important to cover space for this one. You really wanna go side, side. You really wanna be shifty because if you're shifty, it makes it really hard to guard and the defender gets confused as to where exactly you're going. So you're coming down the court. Cross, jump, cross. Cross, jump, cross. Cross, jump, cross. You can add your own twist to it. So when you're coming down, you can stutter step. So stutter step, cross jab, cross if you want. This one is very similar to the one that we just did, but used in a different situation. So the first one was used in a fast break. This one will be used when everybody's set. So the only difference is your setup move is delayed behind the back and then cross jab, cross. So again, delayed behind the back with a little skip to it. So delay, come, cross, jab. You could also go between delayed, cross, jab. You could go little in and out, come, cross, jab. It's all up to you, play around with it. Whatever feels more comfortable and whatever comes to you during the game, then that's what you're going for. On full speed, behind, cross. Behind, cross. This next one is simpler, but still super effective. So you're going to in and out jab with the opposite foot. Again, really sell that in and out. In and out jab. Make sure you lean on that jab to sell it. So full speed, 
and you know, jab. Same thing on the other side. And you know, jab. In and out, jab. In and out, jab. And you can also add the stutter step. So stutter step, in and out, jab, especially on a fast break. So you're going to realize that I really like the cross jab combo moves. So this one again is very similar to the other ones that we did. The difference with this one is at the beginning, you're going to dribble the ball once harder than usual, jab, cross. And what I mean by dribbling harder than usual, you're coming down the court, Dribble, jab, cross. But that dribble right there, that aggressive dribble, makes the defender back up just a little bit because it's aggressive. Whereas just a regular dribble is not intimidating. On the flip side, this one is more intimidating. So you're coming. I like this next one because it's a way to create space. So for your setup move, you're gonna go between, between. Again, you can add your own twist. You can go between, behind. You can go cross, cross. You can go between, cross. For this one though, I like to go between, between. So between, between. Pez you a little bit, get up so the defender goes up too. And then when they go up, go back down between, explode, pull back, reset. Again. Between, 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 reset. That right there created enough space for you to get your shot up, for you to pass the ball. Or let's say you're being pressured real hard by a defender, that move right there can create that space that you need. There's different things that you can do depending on what you're given. So again, between, between, remember the setup move is a little bit slower. You really want to focus on change of speed. So between, 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 cross. For you to become unguardable, you have to be able to switch your speed. So full speed. This next one, you're gonna go between, skip behind, lean back, go forward. That little hezzy right there, people like to call it the freeze dribble. So between, skip behind, freeze, forward. Make sure you don't carry the ball. Let the ball roll in your hand. So again, between, behind, freeze, go. So full speed. I like this next one because of the element of surprise that it gives off. So you're gonna go between your legs regularly and then you're gonna drop to make it seem like you're going that way. Really use your body with this. So you wanna get low and lean forward a little bit to really make it seem like you're going that way. And then you're gonna pull back. You're gonna create that little space, shot fake, go the other side. So a little faster, it's gonna look like this. Between, shot fake, go. So full speed. These next two go together. So you're going to string the ball diagonally. So remember, stringing is a little in and out skip. So string, cross, switch, cross, switch again. One dribble, one step with the opposite leg behind the back. And notice how the behind the back isn't around your waist. Your behind the back is right over that back leg. This behind the back is way quicker than around your waist. Gives you a quicker change of direction. So let's say a defender cuts you off. This is much quicker to change direction and go the other way. So again, you string, relax, cross, 
across, one dribble, behind. So full speed. Next one, same beginning. String diagonally, take one aggressive dribble, pull back, let them come to you because you just created that space. With that one dribble, you created that space. Let the defender come to you, shot fake, go the other way. Again, string, one dribble, pull back, shot fake, go. On this one dribble, I kind of like to do a little in and out. Not too much, but just a little in and out. So string, in and out a little bit, pull back. So going a little faster, it's gonna look like this. String, one dribble, pull back, shot fake, go. So full speed. Next one, you're gonna start with your setup move. So for me, I'm gonna go between, between. And then after, you're gonna go between, activate this back foot, tap, cross. So again, between, 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 back, front, cross. So you're leaning back just a little bit, not too much. Just a little tap, front, cross. So going a little bit faster, it's gonna look like this. Slow between, between, back, cross. So full speed. Next one, you're gonna go between, cross, between your leg with your opposite leg. So, between, cross, bring this foot forward, pull it back. So this is all one speed. So going a little bit faster, it's gonna look like this. Between, cross, pull back. Between, cross, pull back. With this move right here, you're creating that little bit of space to either get your shot up, to re-attack, or let's say a defender is really pressuring you, this would create that little bit of space between you and your defender. So full speed. These last three moves will be off a triple threat position. First one, you're gonna get it. You're gonna in and out between crossover, Allen Iverson crossover. So again, triple threat position, in and out between, Iverson crossover. With this one, you have to be careful with your feet. You don't wanna travel. So you wanna dribble first before moving your pivot foot. So right after the ball touches the ground, in and out, you can move your feet. So in and out, move between, cross. Same thing on the other side, pivot foot is right here. In and out, between, cross, full speed. Next one, pivot foot, get the ball, step behind, create that little space, let it come to you, go between the legs, side step, shot fake, go. Same thing on the other side, pivot foot is right here, you're gonna go behind the back, 
like that to create space. A little hezzy between the legs. Side step, shot fake, go. This behind the back will not sell it. Whereas this one is more believable and will make the defender think that you're attacking that way. And then another key point when you go between the legs, don't drift off into your side step. Really make it seem like you're going that way, so diagonal. So between, then side step. I don't want you to do like a banana type of angle where you go between and you're already setting up into your side step. Really attack that side step, shot fake, go. So full speed. All right, last one. Triple thread again. I'm gonna do a little in and out. Pull back. That right there will create that little bit of space. The defender will come back towards you. Hit them with an in and out cross. Same thing on the other side. This is the pivot foot right here. In and out. Pull back. In and out. Cross. Full speed. And there you have it. That's my top 15 favorite combo moves so far. Really try to get outside of your comfort zone. Just because you're not able to do a certain move, it doesn't mean that you have to give up. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna work. It doesn't mean that it's not efficient. Keep working, keep practicing, keep studying the game and things will click and you will become the player that you've envisioned. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you underdogs later. I'm breaking chains. Yeah, yeah. Tell me feeling bubbly at the rose. Twins turn the foes, haters tell them go away. Rappers make a shiggy dance like a soul train.